gone through various uh, projects, my postcards, my photographs, I've downsized um, things I've made by hand, jewelry items and, um, and other things, and shared those with you. And I want to share with you one that uh, may be um, a topic of downsizing that, that you're struggling with, uh, perhaps even more than me, because um, the topic today is shoes. Now, downsizing your shoes and sort of walking away from your obsession to these beautiful things that we wear on our feet is a very uh, personal one. Now, I throughout my life have not owned a lot of shoes. I'm a comfort shoes person. I've always bought shoes that were comfortable and got me around this planet uh, with the, the least amount of hassle. And uh, so I've, I've not collected shoes in the way that uh, my friends uh, perhaps have done. And they always warned me, this is gonna be the tough one, Margaret, but it, for me, um, it was more of an understanding of why I had purchased shoes at various times in my life and how it was okay to let them go. That once I had walked through that uh, period of, of um, you know, challenges, that I then move, moved on. So shoes obsessions start quite young. And for me, when I was a little girl, um, you know, we didn't have a lot of money in my family. So I was pretty much left with the, the least expensive shoes and they would, they would stay on my feet until I couldn't put them on anymore. And then I would normally get a pair that was a little bit bigger, uh, maybe even two sizes too big because they had been on sale and um, I'd wear shoes that didn't fit. And so my feet are, you know, got very scrunched up and I always wanted new shoes. That, that seemed to me to be the thing that you had when you had a little bit of money were nice, comfortable shoes. But I didn't have that when I was a little child. And, and so shoes kind of fill those empty spaces for a lot of people. And for many years, I was just a black shoe person. I wore black shoes with everything. I never in a million years would have thought of buying beige or pink or red or uh, you know anything with bows and buckles. <laughs> I really didn't, I wasn't interested, but I did have that kind of longing for, for nice shoes. And a couple of things hit me um, as I went through my life that changed all of that, but I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I had some lace-up boots that went to my knees uh, that I wore through pretty much my whole teenage and early 20s bohemian look. I loved those shoes. I would wear them with everything with mini skirts, with jeans, with everything. And, uh, and they, were, they were actually were a reflection of a transition for me from a shoe that didn't really say very much, it was a black shoe, to something that had a bit of personality. And I think that's kind of the, um, the, the thing about shoes is they really express, you know, something about yourself. Now, shoes do communicate your style. And I think that, uh, you know, as I got, went through various stages in my life, they started to uh, shift. Now, when I was in my 20s, I just traveled around. I wore Easy Spirit shoes, which were wonderfully comfortable. And they've got great shoes, by the way, now. They, they've come back into fashion. Same with clogs. I mean, these shoes that we all wore as teenagers that got us around the planet and uh, you know on our travels, they, they were my go-to. And then um, I got into um, a, a career where I had to wear conservative heels with my suit. Uh, that was my daytime look. And then of course my weekend and nighttime and morning look was with children. And those were just the quickest slip, uh, you know, slip ons I could find that um, just took me around the house, around picking them up at various football games and uh, you know, just all the things that you do as a mom. They were, again, very practical and casual. So I had this kind of, that personality evolved as I was working and had a career and, and, and was a mom. So my shoes matched my, matched my role which I think happens, doesn't it? I mean, that's kind of what we do with shoes. They match our role. Um, then I got divorced. And I, uh, you know, then I had to, an opportunity to reinvent myself. <laughs> So I, you know, I went through all the things you go through, like new haircuts and new clothes and new cars and whatever else I tried to just try to find who I was, you know, try to find this, um, this little person that was inside struggling to re-define uh, herself. So I got into the habit of buying shoes and I just felt it was the thing to do. And I had some friends that I used to go shopping with and I got into the, I, oh, those are so cute <laughs> state of mind. Remember that? I mean, it's how people look at shoes. Oh, those are so cute. And I'll have them because I want them. They are like something that I crave. And they also said, you're, you're pretty, you're sexy, you're attractive, you're interesting. You, you want to have attention drawn to you somehow. So I, you know, I bought lots of shoes. 
Anyway, long story is, get, is, is short story is getting a bit long, but basically after my divorce and after reinventing my shoes and my and my physical um, appearance, I broke my ankle. <laughs> yes, I was hopping along on heels and I just tripped on a step that I missed a step and I broke my ankle. And then I thought, oh wow, that was that was not good. Uh, ice packs, two weeks of hobbling around, two I think it was two months almost on um, in a boot and you know and uh, crutches. And then I realized. I've got to stop. I mean, flat shoes became my go-to, and uh, then I, but I didn't really pay attention to the, the type of flat shoe. I just bought flat shoes. And then of course, the, the inevitable happened again. I fell again, that's five, five years later, this, in my 60s, and I fell in Paris. I was walking on cobblestones. I caught the, caught the toe, the shoe came off because it wasn't a good fitting shoe. Um, it was It was cute. And um, I, I I tumbled, and that was that was another you know a decision towards my downsizing efforts with shoes. And you can read all about this in the article I wrote on this. I'm just I mean I think video sometimes explains these things better, but maybe you can relate to them. But anyway, after breaking my my ankle a second time, I decided well maybe it's time for a serious look at my footwear, <laughs> and uh, so I bought some boots and I wore those pretty much for five years. I didn't wear very much else. And then I thought, you know, um, it's probably time to go back into comfortable shoes. I did buy some Easy Spirit shoes. I bought some, uh, another brand or two that I, I liked and decided, yeah, flats, flats are going to be my way of life, but they're going to be safe and comfortable and that's it. And so uh, that's that's kind of where my shoe journey took me. And I have decided since then to give away all the shoes that I'd been carrying around. I was tempted to keep, there was a polka dot uh, and black and white polka dot with red trim wedges that I really, really loved. <laughs> I was tempted to keep them, but I thought, when am I, when am I going to wear those anymore? I guess with this top, it would have been okay. I could have worn them with this. It would have been fun, a fun outfit. But I promised myself, you know, if I want to buy any new shoes, they've got to be traded by for one of my black pairs or one of my comfortable runner sneakers. And, you know, I decided, no, I don't need any more shoes. I'll just keep buying the same ones or similar to ones that I love, comfortable, good fitting, uh, you know, uh, stylish, but but not extravagant and you know that's the joys of downsizing and so maybe you've got a good shoe story to tell me I'd love to know what you are doing with your shoes um, are you ready to let them go or to, to walk away from your shoe obsession or are you gonna hang on for a few more years <laughs> you know shoes are funny they're so emotional but anyway I hope that you found this article interesting and a fun and please read the article thank you for being here on learn to simplify check the uh, website of course in the um, we have a Facebook group and I'm uh, just happy to be sharing these downsizing escapades uh, with you so have a really really good day uh, walk safely have a, have fun and we'll talk again very very soon bye-bye for now